When a plane plummets into enemy territory, not only human lives and millions of dollars in materials can be lost, but also capital that is both intangible and essential, military secrets. Throughout its history, the United States has suffered incredible losses that put its entire defense in jeopardy, revealing highly confidential secrets to enemies in different parts of the planet. From stealthy drones to stealthy fighters, today we're going to look at the shootdowns that most compromised the Pentagon, especially one that narrowly missed starting an unprecedented war. Everything about the Lockheed F-117 Nighthawk looks like something out of a Cold War spy movie. The Nighthawk was one of the most secret projects in the United States between the late 70s and early 80s, so much so that for its flight tests, the prototype traveled inside a C-5 galaxy, far from curious eyes and indiscreet photos. Its development was kept so secret that the few civilians lucky enough to see its flight tests thought it was a UFO. They weren't so wrong, the Nighthawk did, after all, operate on several occasions from the Groom Lake base, popularly known as Area 51. So much mystery had a good reason, the technology implemented in the F-117 was unique, it was the aircraft with the greatest stealth capabilities built to date, a combat model that could penetrate enemy lines without being detected by practically any radar in service. Its mission was to be a spearhead, destroying enemy defense systems and radars, which would allow it to operate more easily than conventional fighters and bombers. Such was the confidence in its invisibility that the plane flew alone, without an escort or defensive systems. Its only defense was its speed and stealth. However, even the best designs can be shot down at least once. In the late 1990s, tensions in the Balkans escalated to such a point that NATO intervened with all its air power, including part of the leading US fleet. On March 27, 1999, an F-117A Nighthawk, codenamed Vega 31, was shot down by Serb forces during fighting in Kosovo. The stealth ship was hit with a standard V-600 surface-to-air missile launched from an S-125 Neva M platform, designed in the 1960s. More than $111 million and two decades of secrets had fallen to the power of an ancient Soviet projectile. How was this possible? As all the extraordinary situations of war are possible through a combination of strategy, luck and overconfidence. One of the big mistakes was that, in Kosovo, the F-117s repeated their flight paths numerous times. They did not stop being invisible, but they did begin to be predictable. In addition, the Serbs attached particular importance to shooting down advanced NATO aircraft. To do this, they took advantage of all the tools at their disposal, whether in terms of other ships, Soviet anti-aircraft defenses and radars. They formed a sort of interconnected network made up of the P-18 Spoon Red D Early Warning Radar, the S-125 and P-15 Flatface, PRV-11 Side Net and SNR-125 radars. Combining all those frequencies, the chances of detecting the Nighthawk increased exponentially. To this must be added the misfortune, or overconfidence, on the part of the F-117A pilot, who opened the weapons system hatch, exposing the interior of his plane, which was highly detectable by the Serbian network. The SNR-125 radar detected the signal, beginning the attack. Two missiles were fired, the first passed by, the second exploded next to the plane, causing so much damage that the pilot was forced to eject. The aircraft plummeted and ended up in the hands of Serb forces, who finally got a close look at one of the most mysterious stealth fighters in history. The Nighthawk was not the only top-secret Lockheed stealth model the United States lost to a country with inferior military capabilities. The Lockheed Martin RQ-170 Sentinel is an unmanned aerial vehicle developed within the secret and classified materials agency known as Skunk Works. It is basically a flying wing with a wingspan of about 20 meters, with sensors housed in the margins of each wing. The design is heavily inspired by the B-2 Spirit, albeit with a much smaller size and lighter materials, making it even stealthier. Its designation as a reconnaissance ship seems to indicate that the RQ-170 does not carry weapons, although the truth is that very little is known about the technical details of this latest generation drone that was put into service in 2007 but whose existence was only confirmed in 2009. 
Much of its operational history occurred in the Middle East, more specifically in Afghanistan, within the framework of Operation Enduring Freedom. It was there that the Sentinel put American security in jeopardy. On December 5, 2011, Iran's military authorities received an early Christmas present courtesy of the Pentagon. An Iranian cyber warfare unit managed to intercept and force land an RQ-170 that was flying over its airspace. China is suspected of contributing technologically, but beyond Beijing's collaboration, it was a humiliation for U.S. air power. Within days, photos surfaced of Iranian officials inspecting the advanced RQ-170, prompting the United States to confirm the loss. Washington asked Tehran to hand over the drone, but the Iranian defense minister refused. Initially, the American engineers downplayed the situation, claiming that Iran did not have the necessary technology to take advantage of the information that the RQ-170 provided them. They couldn't be more wrong. Since 2014, Iranian operations carried out with increasingly sophisticated drones have been recorded, a prominent example being the one carried out in 2018, when a replica of the RQ-170 flew over Israel. In addition, it is clear that the information collected from the analysis was sent to both Russia and China. This is why the Sentinel theft is one of the most significant technological losses suffered by the United States since the end of the Cold War. And since we named that interesting historical period in which Washington and Moscow disputed world hegemony, it is an ideal opportunity to remember one of the most significant shootdowns in the history of modern military aviation, when a U-2 Dragon Lady was caught by the Soviet Union, something that almost unleashed a nuclear war between the two powers. Since the late 1950s, the United States had managed to establish bases in Pakistan from which it carried out reconnaissance flights over the Soviet Union. Thanks to that information, the U.S. had correctly assessed the military power of its enemy. The Soviet Union was aware of these flights, in fact, in April 1960 they almost intercepted one of those aircraft. The problem is that the Soviet officers couldn't accept that the enemy had gotten away so narrowly, they had to capture it red-handed. They finally had their revenge on May 1, 1960 just two weeks before the Paris summit that sought to limit the nuclear growth of nations. That day, pilot Gary Powers took off aboard a U-2 to photograph ICBM silos. What he did not know was that much of the Soviet Air Force was alert, and when they detected the intruder, they fired with all their might. According to official sources, an S-75 Vina missile was responsible for the shootdown, although this has also been a source of debate. What is certain is that the American pilot managed to eject, but without activating the self-destruct system, which allowed Soviet engineers to analyze in detail one of Washington's most powerful aircraft. Initially, the United States tried to cover up the shootdown, but the sun could not be covered by hand. The incident once again strained the relationship between the powers, throwing away years of difficult dialogue. Fortunately, nuclear war never broke out, and today part of the downed U-2 Dragon Lady can be seen in the Central Museum of the Armed Forces in Moscow, as one of the great trophies of the Cold War. Thus we come to the end of this video, these are just three of the many incidents where the most classified technology of the United States fell into enemy hands, endangering the entire North American defense. When it comes to war, no machine, no matter how modern, is infallible. If you like this content, we invite you to subscribe and activate notifications to be aware of our news. For the moment, we say goodbye until the next installment of Military Aviation.